Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we will be making the Pico Beanie. Like all of my other Pico patterns, the Pico Beanie is full of beautiful texture thanks to the Pico single crochet stitch and some rib stitches. This pattern includes four sizes and you can use as many or few colors as you'd like. Today I'll be making the solid pink colored one and here I've made a two-toned beanie and added a pom-pom to the top. I've also made this one with three different colors and I added a pom-pom as well. And then I made one more solid colored beanie for the little baby size. So feel free to make your beanie however you'd like and use as many or as few colors as you'd like. The instructions given will make a fitted beanie, but you can repeat the last row as many times as you'd like if you want your beanie to be longer and have a more slouchy fit. So if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and our size chart and let's get making. For today's tutorial, you will need medium four weight yarn. I'm using Yarn B Soft and Sleek. You'll also need a 5.5 millimeter or eye hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. Here is our size chart. There are four different sizes for the Pico Beanie. I'm gonna be making the adult size for today's video, but you can follow along with the video no matter what size you're making. So here you can see all the measurements for each hat and how many yards of yarn you're going to need to make each size. So if you're ready to get started, let's grab our supplies and let's get making. We're gonna begin by making a magic circle. So take the tail end of your yarn and wrap it around your pointer finger and your middle finger. When you wrap it around for a second time, you're gonna cross it over and bring it to the back of your hand. Then take your hook, insert it under the first loop, grab the second loop and flip it up. You're gonna give it a little twist when you pull it up. And then you're just gonna hold that with your fingers and secure it with a chain one. So here we have our magic circle. Now on to round one. For round one, we are going to work eight half double crochets inside the circle. So working around both those strands of yarn, we're gonna work eight half double crochets. To half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. After you've worked all eight half double crochets, we're gonna take this short tail end here and pull it tight to close up the circle. And then we're going to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the top of that stitch, pull up a loop and pull it through the one loop on your hook. And then we're gonna chain one. So at the end of round one, our stitch count is at eight. Now onto round two, we are going to work two half double crochets into the first stitch. And we're going to work two half double crochets into each stitch around. So just continue that around for round two, working two half double crochets into each stitch around. When you reach the end, we're going to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And at the end of round two, our stitch count is now at 16. Now on to round three, we are gonna work one half double crochet into the first stitch and two half double crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round three. One half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochets into the next stitch. When we reach the end of the round, we're gonna to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and then chain one. And at the end of round three, our stitch count is at 24. Now onto round four, we are gonna work one half double crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the second stitch, and two half double crochets into the third stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and two half double crochets into the next stitch.
When you get to the end of the round, we're going to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and then chain one. At the end of round four, our stitch count is now at 32. Now on to round five, we're gonna work one half double crochet in each of the first three stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. I wanna repeat that all the way around. So that's one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. When you get to the end of the round, we are going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. And at the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 40. And if you're doing the baby size, you're gonna stop here. So you're gonna wanna grab a tape measure or a ruler and measure the crown diameter. And you're gonna want it to be close to five inches. If it's much smaller, then you're gonna want to uh, go up a hook size or two, or if it's much larger, then you're gonna wanna go down a hook size or two to get that to be as close to five inches as possible. So if you're doing the baby size, you're gonna stop here and move on to the body of the hat. I'll leave a timestamp down below for when we start that so you can move straight to that. If you're doing any of the other sizes, we're gonna continue on to round six. So now on to round six, we are going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So one half double crochet into the first stitch, one into the second stitch, one into the third stitch, and one into the fourth stitch, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around for round six. So that's one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. When you get to the end of the round, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Now the next size, the toddler size, you're gonna stop here and measure the diameter and you want it to be close to six inches. If it's much larger, then you need to go down a hook size or two. If it's much smaller, you need to go up a hook size or two to reach that six inch mark. So if you're making the toddler size, you can move on to the body. So check out the timestamp down below for where that starts. And if you are making the two larger sizes, then we are gonna move on to round seven. So for round seven, we are going to work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. We're gonna repeat that around. So that's one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. We get to the end of the round, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the top of the stitch and chain one. And our stitch count at the end of round seven is 56. So now we're measuring for the child slash teen size. So you wanna check your diameter and make sure that it's around seven inches. Again, if it's much larger, then you're gonna to need to go down a hook size or two. If it's much smaller, you need to go up a hook size or two to get it to that seven inch mark. So now if you are making the child slash teen size, you can move on to the body. And we are gonna work one more row if you're working the adult size. So if you're working the adult size, we're gonna move on to round eight and do one more increase row. So for round eight, we are going to work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. That's one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches and then two half double crochets into the next stitch. So I'm just coming up to the end of round eight and I'm gonna to join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. So now we're gonna measure the crown. So for our adult size here, we want it to measure about eight inches across. And now we're gonna begin the body of our hat. And so now all of the sizes are gonna be worked the same. The stitch count is just going to be the same as your last round. So here for the adult size, my stitch count is gonna remain 64 for the rest of the pattern. If you worked the child slash teen size, your stitch count is gonna be 56 for the rest of the pattern. If you did the toddler size, your stitch count is gonna be 48 for the rest of the pattern. And for the baby size, your stitch count is gonna be 40 for the rest of the pattern. 
So now on to our next round. This is going to be round six for the baby size, seven for the toddler size, eight for the child slash teen size, and round nine for the adult size. We are going to be working in the third loop only of the last round. So when you look at the top of your stitches, we have a front loop and a back loop. So here is our front loop and here is the back loop. And then on the back of a half double crochet stitch, there is a third loop. So right there is what we call the third loop and we're going to be working into that loop and that's going to create a ribbing around our beanie. So we are going to work a half double crochet into the third loop only all the way around and that's just going to create a nice ribbing all the way around our beanie. So just working our half double crochet as normal, yarn over and insert your hook into the third loop only of that first stitch. You can kind of see it hidden behind there. Pull up a loop and yarn over all three loops on your hook. There we have our first half double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around, working one half double crochet in the third loop only all the way around. If you're having a hard time finding that third loop, just take your time. It might be helpful to flip over the edge so you can see it more clearly. And you should just be easily able to pick up that third loop and you know you're doing it right if you can see that ribbing popping through the front there. So just continue working that all the way around, one half double crochet in the third loop only all the way around. When we reach the end of the round, we're going to join to the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And there you can see that rib texture there. And now for the next round, we're going to be working our Pico single crochet stitches, so those bumpy little stitches. And to get those bumps on the right side, we actually need to work them on the wrong side of our beanie. So we're going to turn our work and we're going to be working back the way that we just came onto the wrong side of our beanie so that when we poke out those Pico single crochet stitches, they are on the right side. So starting in our first stitch right here, we are going to make our Pico single crochet so insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop then yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook and one more time yarn over pull the, through the first loop on your hook then yarn over pull through both loops on your hook push that chain three to the back and single crochet in each of the next three stitches so there you can see that Pico single crochet poking out to the back. So now that is on the right side of our beanie. So we're just going to continue this all the way around for this round. Pico single crochet into the next stitch. So insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook, push the chain three to the back, and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. When you get to the end of the round, we're going to join to that first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And then we're going to turn our work back around so that we're working on the right side of our beanie. And there you can see all of that beautiful texture we just created with our Pico single crochet stitches. So for the next round, we're just going to be working one single crochet into each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And this is what we're looking like so far. For the next round, we are just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch around.
When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain one. Now for the next round, we are going to be working our half double crochet in the third loop only again. So we're going to do that all the way around again. Half double crochet in the third loop only in each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain one. And now we're going to be working another row, sorry, another round with our pico single crochet stitches. So we're going to turn our work so that we're working on the wrong side of our beanie. And we're going to stagger our uh, pico single crochet stitches. So we're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch and then a pico single crochet into the next stitch. then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So here you can see that our Pico single crochet st stitches are now gonna be staggered. So single crochet into the next stitch, Pico single crochets into the next stitch, and then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, Pico single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. We're just going to repeat that all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch, chain one, and then turn your work so we're back to the right side of our beanie. And for the next round, we are just going to be working one single crochet into each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join with slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain one. And for the next round, we are just going to be working one half double crochet into each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And if you're doing the baby size, you are going to move on to the brim now. And then the three other sizes, we're going to continue making the body a little bit longer. So for the toddler, child, slash teen, and adult size, we are going to work a half double crochet in the third loop only in each stitch around. Baby size, you are going to move on to the brim. I'll put a timestamp down below for where the brim starts. But all other sizes, just work one half double crochet in the third loop only all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And we're going to work one more row of our Pico single crochet stitches. So we're going to turn our work so we're on the wrong side of our beanie. And we're going to stagger our Pico single crochet stitches again. So we're going to work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and then Pico single crochet into the next stitch. Then single crochet into the next stitch and then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So single crochet in each of the next two stitches, Pico single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into each of the next two stitches, Pico single crochet, and then single crochet into the next stitch. We're just going to repeat that all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain one. 
and then we're going to turn our work so we're back to the right side of our beanie. Now we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. At the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain one. And for the next round, we are just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join to the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch and chain one. And now we're gonna start our brim. So now all of the sizes are going to start back up here and we're gonna work a single crochet in the third loop only. So just like we were doing the half double crochets in the third loop only, same idea, but instead of a half double crochet, we're working single crochets. So in each stitch around, work a single crochet in the third loop only in each stitch all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain two. So now for the next round, we are gonna be working double crochets into each stitch around. So to double crochet, yarn over and insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops on your hook. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So working one double crochet into each stitch around. When you reach the end of the round, join with a slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain two. For the next round, we're gonna be working front post and back post double crochets to make our brim ribbed. So starting around the first stitch, we're not gonna be working at the top of the stitch, we're gonna be working around the post of the stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook beside the first stitch, wrap it behind and back out the front, and then finish your double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there we worked a front post double crochet, yarn over and going behind the next stitch, you're gonna insert from behind going to the front and then around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and there we worked a back post double crochet. So we're just gonna repeat those two stitches all the way around. So front post, you're gonna be working from front to back around the post of the stitch. And then the back post, you're gonna go from the back to the front, working around the post of the stitch that way. And that's gonna create a ribbed effect for our brim. So just repeat a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet in each stitch all the way around. When you reach the end of the round, slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and chain two. Now for the adult size beanie, we're going to repeat the last round two more times. For the child slash teen size and the baby size, you're gonna repeat the last round one more time. And for the toddler size, you're going to tie off your yarn now. If you wanna make your beanie longer or a slouchier fit, you can repeat the last round as many times as you'd like. So we're just gonna repeat working a front post double crochet into the first stitch and then a back post double crochet into the next stitch. We're just gonna repeat that all the way around. When you're done with the last round, join to the first stitch with a slip stitch and tie off your yarn. You're gonna to wanna to cut off your yarn leaving about a four inch tail long enough that you can weave it in. And then you can just pull that through with your hook and tighten up that knot. 
Now all we need to do is weave in our ends and we are all done with our pico beanie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. If you enjoyed this pico pattern, please check out my other pico patterns I have on my YouTube channel and free on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.